So we're going to talk about bunny toys today. And okay. I brought some of my favorites, and I see you've brought some of your favorites. Yes, I did. And, and I brought my favorite toy at home, Bean. Bean. Bean's my a cutie pie. Netherland little, Dwarf. Netherland Dwarf. Looks like a wild rabbit, but he's not, and we'll talk about that later. Okay. So what do you do for toys? All right, this is like something, well, first of all, my rabbit's obsessed with these little beachcomber straw hats. You just plop it on the floor and they'll chew it. Here's one that she she's not quite finished with here, but sometimes it just is completely gone. And then um, they just like to chew on it. Will she go through the entire thing? The entire thing. So it completely yeah. disappears. But you want to make sure it's not treated, right? Yeah, if you can with any straw toys, some uh, imports have bug sprays on them mm -hmm. or other kinds of little chemicals that you might want to avoid and it's best to try to find untreated ones. Although people have told me that they've bought the sprayed ones because of a regulation of importing into the U.S. that they have to be sprayed with no ill effects on their rabbits. I try to find untreated ones myself okay. just to be safe. Well, here's one that I like to make at home. What you do is you just need a toilet paper tube, pair of scissors, and you're going to fringe the edges because this gives them a little, what do you call it, like not resistance. It gives them a little play. There's a little play in the cardboard that way so it's not quite so stiff. Right. So that they can access what's going to go into it a little more easily. And, and I'm guessing it. you're going to stuff it the way we do. Right. And then you kind of do the edges like this. See, so this, this is fun. This yeah. is fun. And then you just um, fill it with your favorite hay. It can be a treat hay. If you want to use like this a This is Timothy hay. hay here. You don't have to use Timothy hay, but any grass hay is a good alternative. Timothy is a grass hay. Little dynamite yeah. stick, see? And, and then, then you just throw that around, and I mean, hay will go all over your apartment, but you know, if you love your rabbit, you don't really care. And then you just play. I mean, it, it really, it's, it's a lot of fun. You want to play with that bean? <laughs> and you can use paper towel rolls, too, if you want yep, a longer paper version. paper towel, right. And so some of the other example. things we have here, we have a uh, slinky, which is great. A lot of rabbits love to grab the end of a slinky and toss it around. One thing you want to be really careful about, and this is a good rabbit to show it with, this size slinky and this size rabbit could be a bad combination, and that's why we're showing this. A smaller slinky is better for a smaller rabbit because this size rabbit can get his head into the slinky. For many rabbits, that won't matter, but uh, some rabbits will panic when they get their head into a slinky and they don't back out. So you want to be careful about the size and make it appropriate to the size of the rabbit. And what about metal about. versus this plastic one? Uh, I like plastic ones myself. Okay. Uh, I know some people have used metal ones, but I like plastic ones. They're um, much more visible to me on the floor mm -hmm. so that I don't step on them when a rabbit's on the floor playing with them. And also um, oatmeal, sometimes people take out the sides of the oatmeal, you know, canisters yeah. and your rabbit can get stuck in that too. And so. Yeah, any canister, the rabbit, a rabbit will like to play inside a canister, but you have to be really careful about panic. A rabbit can panic when he feels cornered. Mm -hmm. This bunny right now, for example, is choosing to go into this nice little willow tunnel, which is great. Many rabbits like to hide in tunnels. But if this had a closed end on the other side and he didn't back out, he could panic in there. So we try to be pretty careful about that. And also you can fill this with hay again, right? So mm -hmm. they have a little hay in yep. there to eat as yep. well. And um, plastic keys, you know, baby toys are great. My they rabbit always them. picks this up and tosses it across the room when she needs me. They love them. It's like yeah. a dinner bell. Yeah. This is another kind of toy we really like. It's, it's a nest of straw or I don't know what this is whether it's willow or not but it's like those Russian boxes those Russian doll boxes one inside the other you can see the sizes here and you can actually give the bunny the whole stack closed like that and especially if it's a bigger rabbit they will jump in they'll remove the cover of this one then remove the cover of this one oh, and I had chew no their idea. I didn't yeah know about that. these are really great um, then you've got the little any kind yeah. of little straw little anything tossable tossable and it's funny because we, we talk about rabbits playing, look what's going on here, yeah, he's see? chewing the cardboard. We talk about rabbits playing with toys. Um, they're not actually playing in the sense that kids play, but they love to manipulate objects in their environment. And, and, and plus they love like resistance and they like like your baseboards and wire, so this gives them a nice option. Yeah, and we'll, we'll talk about bunny proofing too, but that raises a good point, which is that rabbits love to chew against resistance. So they like wood that doesn't yield when like they chew it. Like balsa wood. Mm. Anything. So what I did, what I had to do in my apartment after I saw my woodwork getting destroyed was I went out and I bought furring strips and I just tacked them over the woodwork and now all the furring strips are chewed and I don't have to worry about the woodwork anymore. So that's, that works great. Toys. 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 <laughs> Amen. <laughs>